Hello, my name is Charlene, and I'm an account manager here at Hello Divorce. Welcome to your comprehensive guide on legal forms, a key component in the California divorce process. For those using Hello Divorce, we offer a streamlined experience. We'll guide you through each step, simplify the legal terminology, auto-generate your forms, assist with filing, and provide access to experts for additional support. However, this video is beneficial for anyone navigating a divorce in California. So let's dive in together, and today we will be talking about the process of restoring your maiden name in a divorce. If you are currently going through a divorce and know you want to change your last name back to your maiden name, then there are a few steps to follow, and I will address each one with you. To begin, when filling out your initial divorce paperwork, on the form FL100, also known as the petition, there is a question at the bottom of the second page. Question 11. Question 11 asks if there are any other requests that have not been addressed above. You want to look specifically at 11B, which asks if the petitioner would like their former name to be restored. If you want this, Please go ahead and make sure this option is marked and your former name is added in to the form. That way, the court knows what name you will be going back to. Now, if you already completed your initial document and forgot to address the name change in the starting paperwork, no worries. You have a chance to request it in step three, the judgment. During the judgment process, you can assure your name change will happen by making sure a few extra boxes have been checked. The first form you want to look out for is the FL-180 form, also known as the judgment. You want to look at number 4F and select who wants the name change and then type in the name that will be restored. The other form that needs to be marked during this process is the declaration for default or uncontested dissolution or legal separation form, also known as the FL-170. This form, you'll scroll all the way down to the last page and look at number 12. Make sure it's marked with the appropriate party requesting the name change and you're good to go. Finally, if you have completed your divorce and realize you never asked for your former name to be restored, but want it changed now, then you're in luck. You can file an ex parte application for restoring your former name, an FL-395 form, and pay a small filing fee. After all the above is filed, whether it's your regular divorce form or the FL-395, the next step is pretty easy. Take all your filed forms to your local Social Security office and DMV and provide them with all the forms. Thank you so much. I hope you found this video helpful. We have a variety of resources on our website, hellodivorce.com, pertaining to all things divorce, including the information we just went over in this video. If you need help with your divorce or have any questions at all, please feel free to schedule a 15 minute info call with one of our team members. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.